There is a saying that goes, a good friend is better than pocket money. Honestly, for the longest time, I never truly understand what, what that meant because I'm like, okay, I like money. I mean, I like people, not really, sort of. I mean, there's just few that I do like, but what does that even mean? began to understand that saying because friends they're there whenever you're down and out whenever you're feeling like crap and whenever you're up it's like you want those same people around who don't see you for anything else other than yourself you want those people who understand you maybe even better than you understand yourself finding those people is very hard sometimes but what I've learned is that the more you find that person within yourself, the more you attract those type of people to you. What you're putting out and what you think you deserve are the ones that are showing up in your life right now. And that took a while for me to understand as well because I've had some people where I'm just like, yeah, this is my friend. This is my friend. Oh, this is my friend. And me being a genuinely nice person i will give that person whatever they need not understanding that sometimes they take advantage i had to learn that multiple times the hard way because you know my innocent little brain is always like oh no that person would never think of doing anything like this not taking into consideration their experiences their struggles and things that they think are okay to do that are not okay to do on a bigger stage you know if they think it's okay to ask for help and this person is always saying yes they're they don't see any issue with asking for help all the time they will never look past the fact that oh maybe i'm asking too much or maybe this person can't really give it this time but if they keep asking and the other person is like oh yeah sure i'll help you it's fine no matter what and they realize that hey anything i ask i can get it from this person why wouldn't they ask it's kind of because i was in that situation so it's like it's kind of my fault a hundred percent i i take the blame for that because one i did not understand how other people's brains worked and i always see the best in them and i'm always thinking of the situation how I would approach it not how they would approach it because my experiences are different and their experiences are drastically different so again what they think is okay may not be okay to me I realize from reading a book about manipulation I kind of forgot the name of the book but once a person who is well versed in manipulating other people once they get a yes for the first time they realize that it doesn't matter what else they ask for they will always get a yes and it's like it really made me think about all the things that i've said yes to out of the kindness of my heart of trying to help other people and it's just like sometimes it's okay to say no it really is not all the time you're supposed to put everything out there for other people to take from you some of it you need to keep to yourself once you learn those lessons and you go through those experiences and you begin to see things from different perspective that it's not your own then you'll be like okay this is the type of person i am this is the type of person that i want to attract this is the type of friend that i would love to just you know meld with and hang out with and spend time with and have tea with speaking of tea peppermint it's good for you in the morning Whew. oh that was hot Ah, it's burning. <laughs> oh my God. Ah. I know a lot of people who are like 
oh, I don't have friends. I don't want friends because I just don't have great relationships with friends. And I'm always the one there like, hmm, your words are powerful. If you keep saying this, then you're not gonna attract the people that you actually want. I can be very annoying with this sometimes, but it's just like, I will tell you, I will tell you. And if you're like, whatever, then, that's that's your choice you take it that way at the same time i ain't lying <laughs> it's like if you truly believe that everybody that comes into your life who wants to be a friend to you that they're literally just there to take advantage of you then you expect that and what you expect is what you get so why would you expect something like that like start expecting that you will have people who come into your life who just genuinely wants to be your friend just for you. They don't want anything from you. They just want to be your friend. They just want to see you happy. They just want to laugh with you and they just want to sit and do nothing with you. Those are the type of people that you should be like, yeah, that's the type of people I want. And then again, become that for yourself. Because if you can't be that for yourself, how are you really going to be it for somebody else? Because that person that you're looking for is kind of looking for what you want at the same time. <laughs> I have a bathroom door that likes to open by itself sometimes. I mean, not really by itself. It's like maybe the wind or something sometimes. But it's hilarious because it has freaked out so many of my friends. It just opened. Yeah, so. <laughs> Spending time with your friends can really boost your mental health because when you are just sitting and laughing and just catching up, nothing else matters. It's just, it's pure joy in that moment where you feel like, the present is the only thing that matters. And in that moment, you're creating so much, so much laughter, so much bliss, so much joy that everyone just feels good and everyone wants it to last for a long time. Like during those times, time just slips away where it's like, what? I've been here for five hours. <laughs> How? But it's not a bother because it's just like wow okay i think i need to go home and sleep now but at the same time it's like i don't want this to end <sighs> this is so cool i am a loner through and through yes however i do have my friends and i'm so selective with my friends because i know the type of energy that i have and I can be a little bit much sometimes, but if you're my friend and you can't handle that, then you're not gonna be my friend for very long. And that's what has been the main thing for my friendships throughout the years. I don't try to pretend to be anybody else just to fit in because I know me being myself 100% is already making me fit in with them because in their brain, maybe I'm talking for them, yeah. <laughs> but my assumption of what happens in their brain is that they are already looking for someone just like me. And if I pretend to be someone else, the friend that they thought you were is not the friend that you actually are if you're pretending to be the person that you think they want instead of being fully yourself. That reminds me of something that I watched the other day and it's like humankind is a puzzle piece and we all go around trying to fit trying to find our place and trying to fit into this puzzle piece we try to be like other people because we see oh they're fitting but we don't understand that when we try to be like someone else we are turning into their puzzle piece so we can't fit because they already have their piece but when we become ourselves genuinely authentically on a apologetically ourselves we fit right in because that spot is already there open waiting for us to just be ourselves and when we accept that we are who we are we fit right in the people that we're looking for finds us 
and everything just starts to flow where it's like this is me I am being I'm just being me how is this so easy because I'm just being me and that is truth that is authenticity that is exactly what makes you you and that's what makes me me the way the way I learn is I would watch people yeah some people watch her I would watch people when I was growing up and I would look at some of the mistakes and some of the things that they did and everything and I would evaluate it I was a nerd this whole time my gosh <laughs> but I'm I used to evaluate their actions and just, just the consequences of the actions that they chose and I would try to apply it to my life and I'm like if I did this maybe that's gonna happen but I already learned that doing that that way kind of doesn't work so it's like they were sort of my test subjects without even me knowing what the hell a test subject wow I was really a nerd damn <laughs> but from all this observation and everything I've learned to pick things that I like, that I resonate with, that other people have. During picking those things, I've learned that I may like how somebody's lip gloss look and I'm just like, hmm, maybe I'll find something similar. And then I may not find that exact one, but the one that I like goes very well with me. And you know, it's not just me. A lot of people do this because this is why, this is why people love biographies and this is why people love documentaries about other people's lives because they look at things and they're like hmm maybe i can try that maybe that will work for me and that's basically what i've been doing my whole life so we try on things and if it don't work we just take it back off and the ones that do work we keep doing them until they really become who we are me learning to do all of this kind of shaped the person that i became and i realized that it doesn't matter what I absorb from other people. I have always been my own person. This is why I love doing this challenge because years from now when I go back and watch these videos, I'll be in a completely different mindset, a different space, a different everything. And looking back at who I am now and it's just like, wow, okay, I used to do that. That was still good. I still do that. Wow, I'm such a baby. <laughs> You know, our friends become that for us where we're just like, we see their progress, we see their downfalls and we are right there to pick them back up and to help them. That is such a huge plus in our mental health and their mental health because when we're having times when we seriously feel like crap and they're just like, what is wrong with you? What, what is wrong with you? You are the best person on this entire friggin planet. Why would you even doubt yourself? And then they back that up with reasons and you're just like Okay, thank you. Thank you guys. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, big booster in self-confidence big booster in just everything where it's like Yeah, I am the shit. I do I do do <laughs> do do <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay I do a lot of things I do things that no one else can do like me and yes other people may be more talented and they may be more they may have more experience and you know the list goes on no one can do anything like I do and no one can do anything like your friends can do. So when you find the good ones, the ones that are there no matter what, hold on to them. Tell them you love them every single day. Just be there for them whenever they need, whenever they don't need, and just annoy the hell out of them because they love it and they love you and they love everything about you and your friendship. So if you don't have any friends, don't worry. They'll find you. Love you guys.